In this movie, we'll explain the basics of configuring CityCAD for your project. The first thing you might want to do is set the location of your master plan. Go to the Preferences window by clicking here and then go to Sun and Sky settings. If, for example, your master plan is in London, you can set the location by choosing this from the menu. CityCAD includes a database of many cities around the world. To see if it's included, start typing the name and press Enter. You can choose the time and season here, and this will move the sun to the correct position. The next thing you might want to configure is the unit system. By default, it is set to metric units used in the UK. You can choose one of the preset unit systems, for example, the US system. If you want to create a custom unit system, first of all, click on the preset system that you want to base your new one on. In this example, let's say we want to use the UK metric system, but want to measure long distances in miles. Click on UK metric and then click on new unit system. You can give your new system a name, my unit system, and then choose whichever units you want to use. The third thing you might want to do is create some customised land uses for your model. To do this, click the Land Use Manager button in the CityCAD toolbar. Here you can review existing land uses and add new custom land uses using the Add button. Enter a name for the custom land use, for example, My Residential Land Use, and then you can set default settings for the land use. Remember to choose a type, as this will make it easier to organise your information later on. Once you have created it, close the Land Use Manager and the custom land use will be available to you when creating and editing blocks. The fourth thing you might want to set is the Snap settings, which you can access by clicking here. You can choose which snaps to use and set the radius for each one. To show how this works, I'll set the radius for snap to node to quite a large value, say 25 metres. If we go back to the model and draw a route, then if we draw another route, you can see that the mouse cursor goes within 25 metres of the node and then it will snap to it, like this. Another snap you can use is a snap on route option. If you draw a route, this will snap the route to nodes which it passes near to. To show how this works, if I draw a route which passes near to that one, you can see that the node halfway up is highlighted, and when I click to draw the route, it is diverted to go through the node it was snapping to. There are buttons here for switching all of the snaps on and off, and a button which will make the snap radius smaller if you want to work on more detailed block layouts. There is also a separate set of snaps for drawing subdivision lines on floors in buildings. For more information about configuring CityCAD, please visit the help files. You can access these from within CityCAD by pressing F1 at any time.